so guys we are starting off this vlog with a wig in store from more face wig the details are on the screen and they will be in the description bar below more face wig always come with all these little things they put inside the box that's what i love like you're never lacking anything and i really really like that anyways i'm installing a glueless wig this wig is 24 inches hd lace and a six by four closure so here you see me putting on a wig cap because that's all you need you don't need no glue at all just a wig cap underneath to protect your hair i like to put foundation on top of it just to make it more my shade and literally you just put on the wig i didn't even have to straighten it i didn't have to do anything it was super super easy guys the wig link will be in the description bar below so make sure you shop you know give their website a little look because i'm a fan i'm a real big fan of this wig like yeah easy quick and easy ready to go out you don't need to do nothing to it absolutely glueless and it's absolutely my favorite in love in absolute love with mum and cash they're behind me we're gonna finalize the studio today i'm excited and obviously i picked studio 19 because it's the best one okay. it's a nice little space yeah. and before me and crystal was talking about sharing but i'm not sharing with her anymore what do you think it's, it's okay you didn't say it was good. Why did you say okay? No, I'm small. Why don't you do that? They take that out. I think it's a great size. If you've seen some of the ones I've seen, when we're leaving, I'll show you the one for 900. That one, ew. This one is cute. We're gonna have to come up back there. Yeah, that's the private parking I was talking about. Obviously, it looks like a first come type of thing. Yes, first come, so come here. So I'll come in early. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure I can find it. It's factory, is there, did? Yeah, factories and stuff. I saw an entrance down, so when I'm leaving, I'm gonna go and see the entrance to come in. Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. yeah. When they take that out to get plenty of space, no? Exactly. You will have the door open when you're working? No, for what? Why? Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Why do you say that? Mm? Why do you want me to leave the door open? No, for no reason. going to paint that? No, I'm not painting that. Why? It's good like that. Yeah, it's nice, but it looks unfinished. I'm gonna ask them if they're gonna paint it. But what I plan to do was put curtain there anyway. You know the curtain in my room? Yeah. I plan to put uh, a drapes to cover this if they don't paint it. But no, I never wanted to keep this. It looks unfinished. I got three blocks there. It's four. It's one there, one there, one there, and one there. Behind the table. Yeah, I'm to there. I need to decorate was mirror, shelf, like mirror but the walls are so huge though remember the mirror is long no i'm buying another mirror mm -hmm. because uh what was the reason again what was it what, was it the wall i think that's i, I not the one i was like it might not hold oh yeah, yeah, yeah. the long mirror because okay. it's heavier and mm -hmm. the one i was gonna buy is really light okay and a circle okay and it's like 30 pounds and it's, it's quite big from mm -hmm. donnell but yeah so my idea was to have the circle mirror one of my black shelves, mm -hmm. chair, my light to do hair, trolley, coat rack, you know coat rack, mm -hmm. fridge, whatever on this side. Then over here was to be the sign, the sign, and then two chairs. The sofa. The sofa. I'm not getting a sofa anymore. Okay. Because the sofa was more expensive than two single chairs. Mm -hmm. And with two single chairs, I can move them around. I put a chair there, I put a chair there. So and the chairs is sixty pounds per chair. I saw it was like two fifty, two hundred. So it's cheaper to buy two chairs. Yeah. So it was two chairs and then me and hair doing hair, but then I felt like the gap was too small. So I was gonna put the two chairs here by the drape and then put the drawers here. Remember there's the drawer in my room? Yeah. So I was gonna put the because I'm gonna buy another one down the line for it to be two. Hmm. Why you want two drawers? Because the drawer is like this high. Yeah. And this wide. It's just gonna be swing. No, the drawer in my room. No, the drawers, drawers. 
is this high because it comes to my head, yeah. and it's this wide. You need it's to. It's not wide. It's not that wide. It's, it's quite. It's quite. It's, it's, it's like here. So you need one there and one there, and I'm gonna need space to put towels and stuff. I can't put the towels on the shelf. That's gonna look ugly. No, I just said you need some towels. Down the line, I need towels. And the sink is two hundred pound. Okay. But with the sink, you need water supply. There's no water supply in here. No. So, but they have a manual one. Yeah. That shows you. Yeah. They have a manual. You just get a bucket, and you just put the bucket and stuff. Yeah. Like Janice. <laughs> Not Janet, yeah. <laughs> but that's what I was thinking. Mirror, shelf, and then obviously like two shelves here. Or three. But this one was a bit but Billy knows how to do this. I'm saying I do Billy. Well someone has to do it. It's nice no? Yeah, it's all right. When it's set up will be nice. God please bless that place. Amen. Bless that place, God. Bless that place. And then we come first. Amen. God that gave me the business idea will give me the clients. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm doing mm. this. Huh? Eh? I'm doing it. You do it? This. Yeah, what are people looking in my studio for? People are nosy. And then changing these to black. Yeah. Why would I keep it red? That's ugly. You could? Yes, yeah, she said I can paint and decorate. Just don't stick stuff to the wall. That's my luck. Yeah. Black. 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 Nude, nude curtain. The curtain will be there. Thank you, God. Yeah, it's really nice. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You guys are gonna see the transformation of this studio. It's gonna be nice when it's when it's done and has everything in it. I'm not gonna give myself a time frame, but you'll see the full transformation because there's a lot to do. I like the fact the ceilings are a bit high as well. It's not short because there's some studios I've viewed and the ceilings are short. The room is tight, as in I could stretch, and the room is like I'm you. It's like a box but this one's a really good size i can actually share this one if i really wanted to i could actually share this one one person on this side one person on that side so yeah i'm not saying come and tell me you want to share i'm just saying that it's big enough to share and you could share with three people if you did the space correctly cashew cashew always eating something anyways and they do allow pets which is nice so cashew has come share with the toilet no, I haven't even looked. I looked at the toilet of the kitchen. Of course, the toilet. Well, of course, they have a toilet. I'll ask her. I didn't really ask for the toilet. Imagine they pass all the energy. Mom, they, of course, they have a toilet. And of course, they have a kitchen. There's too many studios for there not to be a toilet and a kitchen. I didn't even open the window. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's a good space. You know, looking around to Easy. see what she can touch and sniff. Come. Come cash to see what she can touch and sniff and lick. Cash is, are you happy? Are you happy, Cash? You come to you come to, to, to work with Mama. Yes, Cash is coming to work with Mama. Yes. Oh. Yeah, this People is... have it, have some friends have it blood. Aquatic blood. Alright, Mama, I don't think I need any <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> Any, any vegetables outside okay guys so we're back in the car we definitely sealed the deal i like that studio a lot and i showed my mom two other studios that was in the building they wasn't yes it mine's the night it's the cleanest yes it's, it's fresh yes the paint is fresh the floor is fresh the mm. door is fresh the lock is fresh like everything's fresh it's got four sockets in the room obviously i'll have um extension leads but it's got four sockets in the room which is what i mainly needed because there's a big room in there that i showed you guys on the last vlog that only has two and my small room has four it's down exactly so i think mine is a good price because mm. obviously you guys know that i've been viewing studios and i've viewed some studios that are so dingy and small more this one is the perfect size it's big enough for two people yeah i like this one so we've got a studio sorted guys we're gonna start course beauty studio very soon i will open my books and leave the link down below for you guys to book if you want because i'll be having a winter special going on of quick weaves locks and ponytails and much much more other stuff that you guys will see as time goes on i'm running out of breath i don't know why <laughs> but anyways i'm very happy so happy yeah i'm happy that i got it done because i've been saying i wanted to start here i think i said from 
March, April, not March, April, probably like April, May, I said I want to start here, but I was procrastinating, 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 putting my money into other things and buying rubbish, like my mum likes to say. Because I always need a new handbag, I always need a new shoe, I always need something. So. Expensive one. Exactly, so that was my problem, but now I'm focused on this, so let's see how it goes. You know me, I've always got a new plan, always trying to do something different, so yeah. Okay, so I'm at home, my lighting is bad, I need to turn on the light, but girl, I need to edit this vlog, like... That's what I need to do. Like, one thing I do that is so bad is that, let's say I have a vlog from on a Monday, I'll start filming it on Monday, I'll finish on Tuesday, and I won't edit it till the next Monday. Like, that's got to stop, baby. I need to get on my Zoom, so I'm about to edit the vlog that I just finished yesterday. Um, I'm really, like, in a bubbly mood because of the studio. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm obviously anxious because you know, I'm going into a new venture. Wait, why is these motorbikes so loud? I'm obviously anxious because I'm going into a new venture that I have no clientele in. I know I'll get clientele, but obviously things take time. And obviously you can't have everything your way. I could have no one. I could have one person, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, but we will see, ciao. We will see. I got faith. The God that gave me the business idea will give me the clients. And that's the same for any of you that got your business in that. But um, yeah, I'm going to start editing this vlog that I'm currently working on well about to start working on i'm gonna look for more stuff to put in my studio i already know what i'm gonna put in my studio but i still have to look for things like i'm looking for chairs i'm looking for um tables i need like a coffee table like just little stuff like i know how i want to decorate i know i want black paint and nude paint i'm not changing my flooring um you know we'll get to that in another vlog but i just want to tell you guys that i've got my studio new hairstylist on the block you know how it gets. Um, <laughs> I'm very happy, actually. I'm very happy. I just want to get doing hair. I just want to... I just want to... I want to just comb up someone's head, like, do you get it? But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very bubbly. I'm very happy right now. Yeah, I'm going to tune back in later. I'm just going to edit. I have nothing really for this vlog. This was mainly the highlight of the vlog, but, you know, I make something shake. So, good morning, guys. It's the next day, girl. I'm about to go to the gym. Today is a new day. I need to get back on my gym stuff. Not like I fell off, because I've been going for a while now. Um, I need to get back on my gym stuff. But before I go, I wanted to take my pre-workout. Because remember I told you, the warrior one, the warrior one messed me up bad. Like, uh, I was vomiting. I was, like, down. Like, I don't understand what was in there. I think I really think it was expired. So, I'm not taking that no more. Now, I'm taking Oxy Shred. But, yeah, I'm about to take my drink down. Um, let me show you what the Oxy Shred actually looks like. This is the F Labs Oxy Shred. This is the one that everyone be raving about, saying that this one really makes you shred in the gym. This one really, like, pushes you to work out. But you know what? Yeah, sometimes I feel like this is just a mental thing. Like, the fact that you know you took pre-workout is why you're going hard. But I could be wrong. Let's see. I'm about to down my drink. I'm drinking watermelon candy. This is my first time taking Oxy Shred. And it says... On training days, take one scoop with 295 ml of water 10 minutes before you exercise. I'm going to drink it and I'm going to go straight away to the gym. Probably will be 10 minutes after that because it takes me a while to get there. But yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. When I come back, i got to do some admin work for Cause Beauty Studio. Because girl, we're getting started doing hair. I'm excited. Um... I'm really excited, guys. Please book with me. Come and see me. Let's do your hair. Let's go on live. Let's chat it up. Yeah, I'm actually looking for models, but I think I found some already, so I don't need any more. But I am having a winter special, like, discount, so my prices are discounted. I will put that here on the screen. If you want to book, I'll leave my booking link down below, and I'll leave my Instagram where you can see the price list again. But I'm really excited, guys. I'm, uh, I'm excited because I've been saying I want to do hair, I want to do hair, I want to do hair, and I'm finally getting that push we're still in october um i start officially in november so my november appointments are out already but yeah girl i'm i'm excited i can't lie i'm really like pumped just to get the process decorate my studio be going to my little studio every day like girl i need to also make sure my hair ain't mash up no more like as a hairstylist why you got mash up hair like i don't know any hairstylist and their hair is mash up i need to make sure my hair is good from the next hairstyle I get, yeah, we're not going down after that. Like, my hair always needs to be top-notch. Obviously, this is a braided wig. By the way, this is a braided wig from Fat TV if you want to shop. But, yeah, I need to make sure my hair is always, always good. Like, ain't no no slacking now, child. We can't go back. We can't go back. 
but yeah i'm gonna go to the gym i'll probably do like a little montage i'm not taking my camera i never really take my camera to the gym because people be staring and it's just awkward the only time i'll take my camera to the gym is if there's not much people and there's currently 79 people there so i'm not taking my camera but i will start taking my camera like when i go really early and there's like 15 people there like i don't care but yeah see you guys a little later okay guys so i'm back home they're currently cutting trees outside my house that's why you can hear the noise i am tired from the gym i'm not tired but i'm like worked out like and then i even took cashew for a walk i'm tired girl and this girl can walk you know like bro you wouldn't think this girl and her small legs gets fast she can walk and she walks fast like calm down babe like i even want to get a dog walker because i'm getting tired like i know i'm the mama and that but even walking there is too much for me but anyway um, i'm back home now i'm currently having some coffee so basically i've been doing this little remedy that i've seen online um kind of to aid the weight loss i want to say i'm trying to do weight loss i feel like i like my size now i like my shape but obviously i would always want to slim down so i have black coffee here lemon honey and two caps of apple cider vinegar and that's to burn fat I had a good workout i should have drank this before my workout but i didn't oh the coffee is strong I didn't want to have it and then have pre-workout as well. I feel like that's just too much on my body. But I'm supposed to drink this as soon as I wake up on a flat stomach, on an empty stomach as well. And then have my pre-workout like an hour later when I'm going to the gym. So I kind of did it in the wrong order, but I'm still getting it done. I need to clean my room. You know, I always need to clean my room. Compass for this hasn't come yet. Don't know what's taking so long. I'm waiting for a delivery today. I actually ordered a chair for my studio i'm so excited about that honestly but yeah i actually ordered a chair for my studio so i'm waiting for that to come i got a storage trolley on the way as well i actually already have a storage trolley but i need another one i got a scissor bag on the way what else i have a few little things on the way i've got clips stuff like that i actually have to go and get products um i made a very long product list a very long one so i need to go and get products i need a travel bag as well like for mobile services like i'm really trying to get into this like guys book me but yeah i'm gonna do mobile services as well um speaking of mobile i kind of want to sell my car like i feel like I'm at that stage where I'm ready to sacrifice what I need to sacrifice to reach what I need to reach. Like, I feel like a car, like, I, don't get it twisted. I love my little car. I love Ivy so much. Like, me and Ivy, we go together real bad. But I just feel like Ivy is a cash loss. Like, Ivy is a cash loss. Even though she's a small car, she's an old car, she's a cheap car to run. I'm not gonna lie, my car's not expensive to run. It's just, it's cash loss when it's time to sort the car out. Like, my MOT is due my mot is due this do everything due tomorrow i actually have a company coming to get my car to take it for an mot test if ivy fails that mot test voila for me you like it's time to sell the car if ivy fails that mot test i'm not sold that car i'm not dealing with fixing the car and all this whatnot but the things i kind of need it for work now but i can always take the bus and i don't like the bus i prefer the train i personally don't like the bus i don't know what it is i just don't like the bus i like the train i don't mind taking a train but then i also feel like i should get a bike like a part of me is like get a bike and but a bike just don't fit in with me like what's a bad bitch like me riding a bike every day like why am i doing that but it's good for weight loss it's good economically it's free ride a bike is free do you know how much money i'll save if i ride a bike oh my god guys don't tell me if i sell this car i'm getting a bike my work is like when i say work i mean my studio my work will be like 30 minutes away i can do that that's like 60 minutes of riding a day to park your bike is free but then it's like when it's time to go out on a night out i'm not riding the bike i'll just have to get a cab in it i feel like cabs are such oh i feel like cabs are such a waste of money like now that i've had a car that money used for a cab you can put in your petrol do you get it? that one journey that costs 25 pounds you can put that in your petrol and that's three journeys like that's why i feel like oh, cabs are a waste of money but i really might feel like it's time to make the sacrifice to ride a bike and save your money you know i've got big dreams i got cars i want to get i know what my next car is i really want a new car and i can keep my car and still get a new car don't get it twisted but i just feel like my insurance my tax this 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 and i have a strong feeling god forbid though that my car might not pass that mot my mot has been due for ages i didn't even know i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't even know my mot was due like i only checked some paperwork the other day i'm like wait my mot is is long gone <laughs> like what anyways child i'm thinking about getting a bike so if you see me on a bike say hey but um yeah because I've, I've been driving for like three years now i'm a good driver 
why not like i've had i bought a car it's not like i've been not having a car and all this like i've, I've I've been had a car babe like I've been had ivy I've even wrapped ivy in a nice color I've even modified ivy thinking about getting a bike I'm thinking about getting a bike sell my car I'll be up some money we'll see we'll see but um yeah I'm gonna drink my coffee I need to really clean my room I need to look at my desk this de me and this desk I'm about to throw this desk out because it's always me and this desk like why every week am I battling my desk like child i'll meet you guys up later once i finish cleaning once i freshen up because i need to get a shower because i went to the gym all right so it's a little bit later and i've decided to clear out my wardrobe because i'm actually gonna get a new wardrobe i'm planning to start another project i'm always doing something but i actually want to get like a pax ikea unit and you know we have your wardrobe on display yeah i want that in my room i feel like that'd be a good addition to my room so uh i'm gonna clear out my wardrobe now because by the time i do that i want to be able to just move the clothes from here over there i don't want to be clearing out clearing out when it's time to do that i'm gonna be able to grab my stuff in here and move it over there and that's it but um, yes, yeah, so I'm clearing out this little cupboard that I have of all my clothes. All my clothes are on the bed. I have way more clothes under my bed. I just have a lot of clothes. Most of my stuff is under my bed. And I actually want to remove stuff from under my bed because my good bags and my good shoes are getting rum up by the mattress and the bed. So I want to move them into the PAX unit. But yeah, so I'm going to clear out my wardrobe. I have a lot of things that I don't wear. Like, I barely be wearing jeans. i got stuff with tags that I just buy, like... I spend a lot of money on clothes and stuff and I just don't be wearing anything. Like these joggers, do you know how much these joggers are please? Like these gallery depth joggers is not cheap. Tags is still on the damn thing. I can't keep spending money like this and not wearing my tin things. But the thing is, yeah, when I buy stuff, I forget that I bought it. And then I just put it in my wardrobe and then I forget. So yeah, I need to stop doing that. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna clear up my wardrobe. No point showing you what it's look like when it's done, okay? It's gonna just look scruffy, okay? I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna clear it out to get rid of clothes. Okay, so good afternoon. It's the next day. So I took um Ivy. Basically, Ivy got taken. I didn't take Ivy. Ivy got taken to the garage for her MOT and, like, an interim service. And an interim service is just where they check, like, your oil, your dish, your dip. Obviously, they do certain checks with your MOT, but there's, like, more in-depth checks, basically. is that That's what the service I paid for. Like, there's a whole list of stuff, right? And basically, the guy just coming back saying my MOT failed. Now, I know my MOT was going to fail. I had a feeling, like, that's why I was like, girl, I will sell this vehicle anyway. I had a feeling my MOT was going to fail. Why I thought my MOT was going to fail? Because of my oil. Because certain things I just don't check often. Like, I can't lie, I just drive it. So, I can, I just hear certain sounds when I'm driving. And I turn up my music, so I kind of knew that. And also, my wheels as well. Like, it's just a bit dry when I turn. But it's like, I know it's not the brake pad. Or I know it's something else, so... I kind of knew it was going to fail. I even told my mom, eh, I kind of know that. So he's called me back and he's kind of told me, like, why it's failed and that. And, like, I kind of don't believe him, but it's like, I'm not a mechanic. Do you know what I mean? But I kind of, like, I believe him, but I feel like he's just dragging on some stuff. So basically he told me, like, four things need to get fixed before my vehicle can be returned back to me the same way it was taken. So basically some guy came, drove the vehicle to the garage personally it should be on a truck but anyway some guy came drove the vehicle to their garage and now he's basically saying he can return the vehicle back to me because it's mine but the vehicle can't be driven back i'm like in my head i'm like the vehicle is not that bad like my vehicle is not that banged up my vehicle is not that banged up that it can't be driven back to me that's crazy i was like so how would i how would it get back to me he's like oh we could put it on a recovery service I'm like, do I have to pay for that? He's like, yeah. It just sounds like he's trying to get more money out of me, but I know there's an issue with my car. So he mentioned the oil. He mentioned, what did he mention? He mentioned um, my, my wheel locking barrels. He said I'm missing wheel locking barrels. And I'm like, why am I missing wheel locking barrels? I'm sure they was on my wheel. So maybe someone was teething them from my wheels or... I don't know where them wheel locking barrels went. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. I'd be real, but they don't just fall off. Then he's mentioned something else. He's mentioned my wipers. He's mentioned like he's mentioning bare stuff, and I'm just like, I know I'm not a mechanic, but all this can't be wrong with my little Ivy. But then again, you just never know cars until you start looking deep in them to like see what's going on in there. I kind of feel like he's added on bare stuff because it's not like I'm not daring it. 
I feel like because I'm not there, he's added on all these things. Um, and he can hear a girl on the phone, so it's like, oh, yeah, just add on these little costs, you know what I mean? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to have to pay for the vehicle to, like, get fixed and pass the MLT. But I think I'm going to sell my vehicle still. I think I'm going to sell my vehicle. I think I'm still thinking to get a bike. The same thing I said to you yesterday. I'm still thinking to get a bike, like... Because what's all of this, babe? Like... I feel like he's really taking the piss out of me. Like, I don't know, like... Because when he started the phone call, the first thing he said was not the wheels. He told me, my, he said, if I drive my car, my wheels are going to drop off. That is what he said. He did not start the call with that. I feel like if it's so dangerous that my wheels are going to drop off and my vehicle can't even be driven back to me, surely you would phone me and that would be the first thing you say listen ma'am i can't lie you're da 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 is da 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 that wasn't the first thing you said it was like the third thing but i want my vehicle back if i have to pay the cost to get it back i'm just gonna have to pay the cost to get it back do you get it like that's what i gotta do but i, I feel like selling my vehicle is still on the cards it's still on the cards man it's still on the cards like mm. but like i said I knew my vehicle was a bit, eh, like, I kind of knew I wasn't going to pass my MOT, but I didn't expect all them issues. Waiting for the guy to call me back, and I'm just going to pay the fee to fix what it is I need to fix, but selling my vehicle is high on the list. But I love Ivy, like, it's so convenient having a car, getting from A to B, in the comfort of your vehicle, blasting your music, you got your boot in the back when you need to transfer stuff. Like, having a car is just perfect, I'm not gonna lie. It is expensive, but once those costs are out the way, it's actually perfect. But getting a bike is looking like I should do it, like, honestly. Why are my lips so dry, like, what the hell? Anyways, yeah, like, it's... Ugh. I don't know. Because I got... I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just waiting for this man to call me back to see what he says, but... I would just say side eye, like, that's what I will say. Like, this is why you need a man in your life, because the man will talk to him and he'll know instantly. Like, if I had a man in my life, if I had a proper man in my life that was handling business, my car, I would not have to deal with this. He would know. Oh, babe, my MOT's done. All right, I'll sort it. Do you get it? Like, do you get it? But no. I gotta do it myself, so that's probably why I'm getting swindled and I don't even know. Do you know, do you know what? I do know, that's the thing. I know this guy, I know he's doing his job. I'm not gonna get it twisted. Like, like I said, I know there's something wrong with my car, but I know he's adding on stuff there, back there, like. Or maybe those things are really wrong with my car, but I feel like he's adding on cost, should I say. There's no way what he's told me is the cost of the stuff. I know that, but I need my vehicle back. I don't think I'll do this again, like. I found them online, they're Google rated, like, they're really good. The trip back, trip advisor, the Google reviews are good, like, do you get it? But the service is just dodgy, in it? Because it's like, they come to collect your car, take your car to their garage, do the work, and look at what they need to look at, and change what they need to change, and fail what they need to fail, and then bring it back to you, do you know what I mean? You see nothing, but when I was looking for MOT tests... They were so far and the waiting time was like a bit longer than usual. I don't know if most people's MOT are running out now or what, but it was just too much. I was like, okay, let me just do pay for this service. Plus they were having a discount, which was what actually drove me there. See, that's what they say. When you pay, when you pay cheap, you pay twice, child. Mm -mm -mm, I learnt my lesson. Okay, guys. So I didn't actually give you the rundown on what happened with the car. So basically, I got my vehicle back yesterday, and the guy on the phone was basically saying that I've got two issues wrong. No, he said about five issues wrong, but he said two main issues. But he mentioned like five different issues. He said my engine needs a clear out and a new engine, and I need new engine oil. He said that my wheel needs this new lock bolt thing, which I kind of knew about that. He said I need new wipers. He said I needed something with my brakes. Like he mentioned so many stuff. And I was like, I felt like he was making stuff up. Like like I said to you guys, I was like, mm, something ain't right, but obviously I need my vehicle fixed so it is where it is. But I could feel it that he was like doing some bad business. But again, he's a mechanic, I ain't. So if he says this is wrong, this is wrong, then unfortunately for me, this is wrong, this is wrong. Basically, hold on, basically, hear this now. I was like, oh, on the phone, he was like, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. Are you gonna pay for it? I said, how much is it? He said, oh, it's 280 to fix everything. 
and I was like, what's everything? Just run me back what everything is so I know what I'm paying for. He said, to fix the windscreen and the wheels. I said, I thought he said everything. Bear the man, he told me five issues. He said, oh, I could charge you for everything, but it's not 280. He said, it's 280 pound to fix the wheel lock, wheel, wheel lock nut bolts thing that was missing and the windscreen wipers. So I was like, okay, cool, cool. Cause I'm thinking, I, I had a feeling that price was high, but I was like, you know what? He knows what he's talking about. Like if he said it's 280, then that means it's 280. And then I called another garage after oh wait no i'm even missing a part basically i was like to him oh let me call my uncle um to just ask i think i said my neighbor or my uncle i think i said my uncle neighbor or something i don't have one of those but i just said that i said let me call my uncle or something or my neighbor to ask him for his advice he goes oh i'm talking to you i'm talking to you you don't need to ask for no advice i'm talking to you your name is on it so i'm talking to you I was like, oh, I just want to ask him if he can probably do it. Like, just, I'm just waffling. Like, there's no one for me to ask, but I just said that because I needed to come off the phone to go and see. Like, I just needed some time to think, innit? Because he wanted me to say yes or no there and then. Then he was like, okay, cool. Hung up the phone, hung up the phone. And then he talked, well, no. He said, okay, cool. Call me back if, you, if you're going to do it or not. I said, cool. So I called him back like 15 minutes later. I'm trying to get through to him. I can't get through to him. Like, it's going to all these associates like i'm not been i'm not able to get through to the same guy i spoke to so then i'm like no nah, something's weird anyway it's like an hour and a half now i still can't get through i'm like what the hell then oh there's a fly in here and then oh, i need i need to close my window i've got, I've got to open a bit anyway and then i managed to get through like an hour 45 now like after an hour 45 of being on the phone calling that number i managed to get through then he's like oh your car's been sent back because basically they came to pick up my car and they drop it back he's like oh your car's been sent back i don't have your car no more i ain't doing the work on it you didn't even ask me like you like i mean you asked me but you didn't even let me get back to you, you didn't even call me from up there and say oh, look i'm about to send your car back Da, 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 da. but let me tell you something that was a blessing in disguise they sent my car back he was telling me my wheels is gonna fall off like my car is in such bad state that my wheels are gonna drop off like you can't drive with like this car that like, you don't drive it on the road like it's so poor like excuse me don't be getting on to ivy because she ain't too bad she ain't too bad like ivy ain't too bad anyways so he said that now and i'm like fine like he's gonna send it back in it but when, when, basically, when I got on the phone with him and he said the vehicle should be on the way back, the vehicle was outside already. Like, the minute I cut the phone with him, the man's called me and said, oh, look, your vehicle is here. I'm here. Come and collect it. Collect your key. And my mum's come in the house at the same time of all of this. And she's like, I just seen your car outside. I'm not. Like, what the hell? Like, he didn't even give me no time. Like, the minute I cut off the initial call to go and ask my little uncle, uncle neighbour, he was sending my vehicle back. That's what he was doing because there's no way that quick he was sending my vehicle back. And if I tell you this garage is in Enfield, it's far in Enfield. There is, is I live far from Enfield. So for them to make it back here in time is not adding up. Do you get it? Anyways, so that happened. Then I come up, the, guy, the guy's outside and he's like, oh, I've got your vehicle. I'm like, no, no, he was supposed to take it back. He was supposed to take it back because the guy said on the phone, well, when, when, oh, it's so confusing. When I initially got through to the guy, he said, oh, let me call him back and see where he is. But your vehicle should be outside, though. I said, cool. The vehicle was outside. So then when the guy, when the guy, because there's two different guys, one's the driver. What well, does that bear then? But, like, this one is a driver. He just drives the vehicles to and from. When that car came back, he was like, oh, your vehicle's outside. And then I was like, oh, no, you were supposed to take it back. And he was like, okay, let me call them and ask. He called them and asked. They said no. And then he's like, you have to take a vehicle, it's here now. So I was like, okay, so I'm here with this vehicle that's got hella problems. Well, it didn't have hella problems, it had two problems. And he was making it seem like my car had hella problems. Anyways, I had failed that MOT test and I have to get a new retest. So today now, I've called this garage that's local to me and I've said, look, I need a retest and I need um, two things fixed on my MOT. Now this guy, the original guy, that told me my car had bare problems. He told me my car had bare issues. When my MOT paper came back, it was two issues. And he told he charged me £280 for those issues, right? Obviously, I didn't pay it, but he was charging me. That's what he wanted to charge me. When I got to the garage that I went to today to ask them how much is it to fix these two issues that was on my car, they charged me 30 quid. 30 pound that's how i know that man was just trying to bullshit me like he was really trying to bullshit me because he just had some young girl on the phone like he was like yeah man try 
she's a dumb she don't know this is why you need to know about cars if you if you have a car or you're looking to get a car you need to know about cars or you need to have someone that you can call a minute away or a phone call away to know about cars because these guys in these mechanics will swindle you these guys in these mechanics will really swindle you and it's actually so poor like 280 to fix two bolts on the wheel and a windscreen wiper and i almost thought it was the right price because i ended up calling a garage that was actually close by me but where i live is like these people are bougie so the costs are so high anyway i was like to this other garage how much is da -da -da -da? he said almost 400 pound but when i had told him the the problems i told him the engine oil i told him all these things so i told him four different things and he gave me the quarter of 400 pound because i thought it was four different things because that's what he told me on the phone anyway child so i got these two things fixed on my car today now i need to go back for a retest now the garage i went to today i wanted to get a retest at this garage because i didn't want to go back to this man they're like oh no we can't do a retest like when you get your car done and you get an mot you need to go back to the garage that gave you the original um score on your car so i'm like fairs so i called them today they would not answer it and then eventually i got through to someone and they were like yeah just bring it in anytime so all this waiting on the phone for you to just tell me that. You could have just texted me that. Like, I, I texted you guys. You could have just replied on text instead of making me call this 0800 number running up my phone. Like, people were just, I don't know. But anyways, that's what is going on with my car. That's what Ivy's going through right now. She's having a bit of maintenance. I need to take my car to the MOT place to get a retest. I kind of want to do that tomorrow. So I will. I don't know if I'll include that in the vlog. I might as well because this vlog has been about this car. So I might as well include that, but I don't I don't feel like it. Like I need to close out this vlog because I've been talking for a while. But anyways, yeah, that's what's going on with Ivy. She's gonna get a new retest. Let's hope she passed that time. If she fails that retest, that guy has a vendetta on me because he's the same one that failed me the first time. And I fixed the two issues that was the problem. The two issues, the even the two issues on my car are even on the government website. The person that fixed my vehicle, the in the new garage, they went on the government website to go and get the failures and they fixed the failures so if i now take it back to this guy and he fails it again for something else he's after my money he's after my money he's after something he ain't he ain't happy with me and he ain't happy you know why i know he's not happy because he's not happy with the fact that i said i want to call my uncle or my neighbor i don't know what i said but he's not happy with the fact i want to call my uncle neighbor and ask for advice because he knows my uncle neighbor is going to tell me that he's bullshitting that's exactly what my uncle neighbor is going to tell me but yeah, that's the story of yesterday and today. That was me literally filling you guys in. Anyways, I also went... Oh, before I tell you, I went to the hair shop and I got some products for my hair business. But I actually got two deliveries today. So here I have my trolley. So I already have a trolley in my office. But I have another trolley because I need it. I probably need another third one. Um, and then I also have a chair. So in here is my chair for my studio like my little hairdressing chair like girl come sit down like yeah so i have that in here as well so those need to go to my studio i don't know when i'm going to take them child but my little ivy needs to be on point and she needs to be working I need to transfer all my stuff that's come to my house to my studio my studio is not far it's very convenient for me but my little car needs to transfer everything a mirror a chair trolleys hair products hair tools what else I, what else do i got coming i don't know but i know i just got stuff coming because i need everything shelves child tv <laughs> ivy wherever you are baby you need to fix up thank you let me show you guys what i got today these are the, like the two bags i picked up i went to the pound store as well and i got this sif multi-purpose so this is for my thing's not focused oh my gosh this is the SIF multi-purpose. This is for my studio. And I also got some wipes as well because I need this for my surfaces. Anyway, from the hair shop, I got Barber... I'm going to just show you guys what I got. Barber Roll, Comb for the Locks, Ebbing Spray, Finishing Spray, Bonding Glue, Edge Brush, Rubber Bands, Beeswax, Lock Gel, and glosser those is everything i got from the hair shop every time i go there i'll buy like a bunch of different items honestly though i thought i was gonna spend like 60 pounds in the hair shop because the hair shop be getting expensive but this did not cost me a lot i think i spent like 30 pounds or 29 or 30 or 29 pounds and i think that is really good for all these things that i got this is my first hair shop run for my business and you know it just it felt nice 
um i do have a lot of things to buy though so i need to buy like every day i'm probably gonna buy some more stuff tomorrow i have a whole list of things to buy um so i need to get that done but yeah so that's what i got from the hair shop those are the two deliveries that came today um i did have more deliveries but nothing hair is like stuff i got today don't is not including like hair stuff and i just want to just keep this vlog to like hair products and like things to put my new business but yeah i'm really excited for it i really am tomorrow i will be going to the garage to get my mot done again that car I better pass that mot because i will kick up a fuss with that guy and i'm gonna ask for the same guy just so i know what he looks like because i don't even know what he looks like because they came to pick up my car and drop it off so i don't know this guy but i know his name so i'm like oh are you so and so i just need to know because i just need to know i just need to know like just for my sanity i need to know who i was talking to but anyways yeah i also really want to get a piercing i'm not gonna lie like i really miss my tongue piercing so much like i miss it so so much i really want to get my tongue pierced i might do that tomorrow i might not i don't know but this vlog ends today and i want to thank you guys for watching today's video I, ooh, mm -mm. not my camera almost falling anyways i want to thank you guys for watching today's video i'm going to leave cause beauty studio instagram down below and i'm going to leave my booking system down below show you guys some love give me a follow uh give me a like there's not much stuff on there there's only one thing which is my new but yeah can't wait to start cause beauty studio see you guys in the next vlog follow me on instagram i love you goodbye